Moist Critical or Charlie or Penguin Z0, as known by his YouTube channel name, is one of the most influential YouTubers on the platform, who is always quick to report on any news that he finds online, but recently he has been real quiet regarding the controversy that Mr. Beast has gotten himself into. If you guys don't know, after some inappropriate findings were revealed regarding Ava Chris Tyson, Mr. Beast's former best friend, Doc Pack released a video where he compiled some open accusations that were made about his company, which ranged from Mr. Beast faking his videos to him promoting gambling to children to him even promoting unhealthy snacks to them. These allegations also accused Mr. Beast of employing child labor under the guise of advertisement for his new chocolate brand Feastables, as well as him being associated with the Antichrist, which I agree might be a stretch, but with so much controversy going on, Moist Critical stays silent on this issue. If you visit his channel, you can see that he has only made one video regarding Mr. Beast and that is about Ava Chris Tyson over a month ago and things have very much escalated from there. The other close to Mr. Beast controversy video that he made was regarding the controversy that he himself was a part of and brain dead people started calling him a fake person for praising Logan Paul's prime drink, though he himself has admitted that it's good. Fiddle to the drama, it just spawned with me in the center of this scene singularity here. It sent Twitter into a piranha feeding frenzy here with me getting spaghettified in the middle of this black hole of drama. So let's make like a package and address it. It's this clip right here. What's up, bro? Hey, nice How to are you, dude? I like your videos, dude. I appreciate I, it. I know you talk some shit, but... <laughs> Everybody hates Logan Paul. Is everyone around Logan just a fucking idiot? I'm always super happy that people don't take it personally. Man. I don't. Okay, I don't. Thank God. I understand I'm a and I'm here to be a Bro, good to see you, bro. And also, Prime's pretty fire. Thanks. Bro. Not allowed to say that on camera. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. Talk, bro. Good luck today, bro. Right? Yeah, likewise, bro. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. People are already lining up with the pitchforks, lit torches, and spit out apple juice about how fake I am and how I folded in front of Logan Paul in person, cowering in fear, piddling my little britches. For some reason, the biggest part about that is what I said about Prime, which is like, oh, Charlie's super fake. He shits on Prime online, but in person, behind the scenes with the mask off, he actually loves it. I'm not sure if this is people maliciously lying about me, like Pinocchio, or if they just genuinely don't know, or maybe heard something that was wrong, but I've never shit on Prime. I've actually only ever talked positively about it on stream or in videos. Me saying it's pretty fire but I can't say it on camera is literally the simplest joke ever, like a water cooler joke at work. I've talked about it on camera numerous times. Any time I've ever been asked about it or have made a video where it been like it's been a subject, I've always mentioned that I actually think Prime's pretty good. Like here's a quick example from a video I made a year ago when there was those like wakey wine scams or whatever about Prime. All just to get their hands on some Prime. I've had it before because in the States it's not rare, it's not hard to come by. I could walk outside right now and find like an unopened pallet of Prime. Other than these two videos, the other Mr. Beast video that he's made is called Mr. Beast Almost Got Me Killed, where he talks about another one of Mr. Beast's challenges that he has participated in. There's no negativity that is involved. It seems that Charlie has taken a step back from making a video regarding Mr. Beast's controversy, as it may be because he is being careful in making a video regarding it because some of these controversies are alleged, but it could also be that he is not allowed to do so due to him appearing on his many challenges. Just like how an NDA is signed, Voice Critical may have also signed a contract or an agreement for appearing in his one of many challenges where he is not allowed to talk about anything bad regarding it. This is the only reason why I could think of regarding Charlie's silence over the whole fiasco and regarding his Ava Chris Tyson video, I think he only made it because he is now an ex Mr. Beast employee. Or it could be that Charlie does just does not want to make a video regarding Jimmy because he himself probably considered him a friend that just wants to stay away from the heat. But that would be hypocritical of Moist Critical as the allegations against Mr. Beast are very vast. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, there are actually a lot of old deleted videos of Mr. Beast that question Jimmy's character as a whole. And I think because of his questionable character, Charlie should have made at least one video regarding this issue. 
However, it may be that he is currently working on it and it just may take more time to be revealed as the third and final dot pack video is scheduled to be released soon and perhaps shedding some light on that video may reveal whether Mr. Beast deserves a downfall or not which may be addressed by Charlie if he ever decides to make a video on him.